today, <clears throat> we have five more gates of Hoth. One linear gate, two triangular gates, and two quadrangular gates. So the, the path in the linear gate is the path of Peh, or Mercury. Now, Peh in Hebrew means mouth, which is quite fitting in this context of Mercury being about communication, okay? So, much like Mars, who is above Mercury in the pillar of severity, communica Mar Mars communicated the, the individual uh, essence from Bina to Gebura strongly imprinted itself on Gebura which, of course, is the most individualized part or aspect of the solitary self. So what's happening here with Mercury is that individualized part of the solitary self is impressing itself upon the rational intellect of the uh, <clears throat> sentient self, the astral self. So, the nature, the unique nature of the solitary self manifests through the rational intellect. That is what this path is all about, okay? Where Mars coming into Gebura is all internal. It's about the solitary self realizing things about itself, right? But Pe and Mercury is external. It's all about the solitary self in relation to other. And the rational intellect is all about this interaction with other. It's not introspective in the same way that Gebura is introspective. Okay? That introspection of Gebura is where the solitary self discovers its great power. Its solitary self power. Here, in Hod, the sentient self is discovering its power with other, in relation to other. These are the powers that it has. And this Mercury is conveying that self-determination of the solitary self within the limits of the greater self, set by the greater self, okay? So, <clears throat> our first gate is the linear path. And we start in Gebura and go down the path of Pe to Hod and back up. Now, that descent along the path of Pe, Mercury, we come with, we start in this place of great individual power. And we descend. We go through this transition of that one state of individual power, and we communicate that to the rational intellect, this state of sentient power, okay? So it's these two worlds, this internal world of the power of the solitary self transforming into this outer thing, this outer power, this external power of the rational intellect in dealing with other. It's all about self and other. Okay. The second gate 
goes from Gebura down the path of, <coughs> excuse me, down the path of Mercury to Hod, and then up that hidden path to Tiferet, and then down the path of Virgo to Gebura, and then back around. Okay, so with this gate, we're connecting it in a, a broader sense with the solitary self. Okay. The solitary self plays this huge role in the formation of the rational intellect. Now, the third gate is a quadrangle, and it again goes from Hod, I mean from Gebura, down the path of Peh to Hod, up that hidden path to Tiferet, up the path of uh, Saturn to Kether, and down that hidden path to Gebura and then back around, okay? Now, the uh, really important part of this gate turns out to be that descent from Kether to Tiferet by the path of Saturn. Because uh, hmm, this includes Kether in a very specific and special way, okay? <clears throat> Now, the third gate is another quadrangle, and it begins in Gebura, Gebura descends along the path of Pe to Hod, up the hidden path to Hokmah, and then up the path of Ares to Kether, and then down the hidden path back to Gebura, and then around. Now, the important parts of this gate are the passage from Kether via the path of Ares, the He, to Hokma, and then Hokma back down to Hod. Um, this connection with Hokma and Kether, but specifically with Hokma, and that creative path of He, bringing the essential meaning directly into Hog. Uh, this informs the rational intellect in combination with this input from the solitary self. This is a very powerful clarification of the rational intellect. Okay. Now, our our fourth gate is um, a, the last triangle here, and it is all about Kether and the connection between Kether and this dynamic between Gebura and Hod. So it starts Gebura, down Pe to Hod, up the hidden path to Kether, and then down the hidden path to uh, uh, Gebura, and then back around. So this ties Kether directly into this dynamic, okay? And, and purifies this connection of the sentience, the solitary self and the sentient self. So, that's it for now. Be back next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>